So on today's episode, I want to take a closer look at some major updates we're getting with OpenAI and pretty much their text version. Um, if you have been watching this channel, my previous video, I actually took a closer look at some of the downgrades impacting Dolly right now. So if you are a Dolly 3 user on OpenAI, I definitely suggest taking a closer look at that video. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to see is we do see that ChatGPT knowledge now cuts off it has updated their card of knowledge to April of 2023. We can see from this image of Alpha Signal AI. So this is pretty interesting and it does seem to be kind of a roll off method um, because a lot of people, including myself, still haven't seen this update. Uh, for me, it's still January of 2022. So I do believe that's great news in my opinion and something that I do get excited because as someone who does content creation in other markets like myself, I like to have kind of the updated information. Uh, the second update that I really want to talk about is ChatGPT has now or OpenAI now lets you kind of chat with PDF folders or, or PDF files um, using the data analytics. So now you're able to upload many types of documents, work with PDF, data files, or any documents you want to analyze. And this gets me really excited because back then there were a few plugins that you had to purchase and it was perfectly like $10 a month, um, even though you already had kind of chat GPT to be able to chat with PDFs. Uh, but it does seem like they are bringing it. I did test it out and I'm really enjoying it. I do believe this still has much room to grow because there's always like a, le a length limit. Um, the other thing, I personally haven't seen this one, but it, you're able to use tools without switching. Uh, right now, if you are using kind of chat GPT, you have to select which one you're using. If you're using the browsing feature, if you're using the advanced data analytics, or if you're using DALI. And they do mention it's now automatic. It preferred the manual selection is still available under GPT-4. Um, but I personally have, uh, again, uh, maybe this one is a rolling out feature. I still am unable. I have to really select which one I want to kind of be able to use um, the selective feature. All right. So here we can kind of take a closer look at chat GPT. Um, and I, I have it under the advanced data analysis, right? And you will see kind of the attached file. Um, now you can kind of attach the PDF. So I, I, I had this PDF right here of Microsoft quarter one. Uh, this is the earnings transcript. So I was like, hey, look, can you read the first 10 pages of this PDF and give me a complete list of all the times AI is mentioned and also provide the page number, also provide the sentence, the sentence before and after to help with context, right? So um, I'm seeing if it can pick up the information and also because of context, I wanna know um, what's before and afterwards. Obviously, I'm curious how Microsoft is really looking at this AI market. Uh, so this PDF, and I do believe this is probably the most best, the, the best way to kind of talk to PDF right now is to not, is to discuss and find what you want to look for. If you wanna look for certain text, um, if you wanna learn something, directly ask for it. I think especially with huge PDF files, you can't ask for a summary because the the chat, they are limited to, or the AI is limited to how much it can read in one sitting. So it's better to kind of break it down. Um, let me kind of show you how it's done so far. But before guys, if you are enjoying this episode, make sure to hit the thumbs up, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm definitely a, a very appreciative of all the support. I'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. So please, 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 if you haven't, make sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Um, so here it, it goes, certainly it's going to start off and it starts giving me all the page number of where and when um, AI is mentioned. And again, I do believe right now this is still in early phases and it first starts to give me page three and then it jumps to page nine and page 10. So I was a little confused here. I was like, hey, wait, you skipped page four to eight um, and it tried doing it again and again, but still it kind of read page three, page nine and page 10 and it did miss out on a lot, a lot of information. So instead I wanted ChatGPT to actually get better. Then it tried, I was like, hey, look, can you, you missed it. it kept giving me, it, it tried to improve itself, but it's 
still kept getting it wrong. It gave me things like in page four and page five, page seven and page eight. And I personally have read this file already, so I know there's a lot more than this. So I was like, hey, I, and I think this is gonna be a great prompt for people that want to read or, or want to kind of get information from big PDF files. I was like, can you do the following? First, extract text from page one and give me all the sentences that deal with AI. Then remove page one from your data and extract page two and do the same. Then do the same method for page three and then again for page four. You need to do it exactly this way because if not, you miss out a lot of content. Uh, so it actually did pretty well. It started off, it was like, hey, look, I understand your request. I'm gonna extract text from page one, from page two, um, from page one, um, then from page two, then from page three, and then from page four. Uh, so it goes, in page one, there was no mentions of AI, that is true, neither in page two. But then when you got to page three, it actually gave me a complete list of all the times AI was mentioned in page three. Then it did it again for page four. Uh, so I do believe now that I told the system how to do it properly, it's able to kind of grab that information. So I, I do believe it's still in early stages here, but we are getting some great results from the PDF chat. Um, and previously from prior plugins, I was also still getting errors like this. Uh, so things are improving and I am happy that now ChatGPT has this available for us. Now I want to have another one and I have this PDF here that just has two images. I'm like, hey, can you tell me what is in this PDF? Um, and let's gonna see what it tells me. I do, uh, I'm gonna, like I mentioned, right? There's no text in this PDF. It's only two images. Uh, it says, so certainly I'll start by examining the contents of the two image.pdf. For those that want to see the two images are actually the first image is just a graph showcasing the best selling video game franchise. The second is just a picture of Darth Vader. I want to see if it's able to kind of get. So it says, hey, look, the two image PDF file consists of two pages. Would you like to detail the extract of the content from these pages? All right, so next it told me that, hey, look, I can't really see what the image data is, but they can convert the PDF pages into image format and display them for us. Would you like to proceed with that approach? Um, I said, yes. It unfortunately was unable to give me the image. I said, hey, I can't see the images. Can you give me a description of what they are and also provide a link for me to view locally? Uh, so it was actually able to extract the images here. We can see this is gonna be the first image of the uh, best-selling uh, best video game franchise. And then the second one should be the image of Darth Vader. Uh, so these are the, at least it was able to extract it, but I don't think that's much help right now um, what one can do from there though is I can go to open sidebar start a new chat uh, and this time use just the default feature and with the default feature I can kind of go this is the vision right so now PDF uh, it can read and I can be like hey can you tell me what is happening in this image and give me an awesome summary uh, so it tells me hey look the image displays a list of the best selling franchises and now it's able to understand and grab that information so i think this is pretty cool i wish all these systems were kind of put together right i was i had to first kind of get the images pulled out from the pdf um, into kind of an image format and then i had to enter here um, and had open ai kind of read the image um, but this overall kind of shows that hey look if, if things start improving i do believe we are going to get better especially from this uh, from this update here where use tools without switching. Uh, so you're gonna be able to access browsing at advanced data analysis, analysis and DALI is now gonna be automatic. Uh, so maybe as we continue to improve there, we will be able to do all that at once. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It really was pretty cool to kind of see all these cool updates uh, impacting uh, OpenAI. And I'm super excited to see where these AI solutions go in the upcoming months. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take care, have a good day and see you next time.